Hi guys, today we're going to do something fun. We're going to solve word problems. I know you're so excited about it. No, I really know that you're not. But um, but I'm going to do my best to break this down part by part for you. Um, and hopefully this will make this make these problems accessible, maybe not as confusing. I'm not going to promise easy. But um, if you follow these steps, uh, hopefully they'll be it'll be a little bit easier to understand. Hopefully, fingers crossed. All right. So the first thing we want to do when we see just a bunch of word soup like this um, is we always want to read critically, right? Read critically, carefully, and annotate when we can. Okay. So we want to annotate where we can. Um, using different color pens, pencils, highlighters. What we don't want to do is underline and highlight everything because then it just doesn't mean anything, right? So let's read the problem. Mrs. Williams shops at a store that has an annual membership fee of $30. That seems important. So the annual membership fee is $30, kind of like Costco. They have an annual membership fee, okay? So today, she, oh, today she paid her annual membership and bought several fruit baskets costing $15 as gifts for her coworkers. Okay, lots of going on here. Today she paid, so she paid her annual membership and bought fruit baskets. So she bought fruit baskets that cost $15 each. Okay, so that's important. And then it says her total was $105. So I know according to this that she paid a total of $105. They want us to write and solve an equation to, here's, here's our end goal, find the number of fruit baskets. So find the number of fruit baskets Mrs. Williams purchased. All right, so we underline kind of the important parts. I highlighted what the end goal is. That's going to be really important so I know what my end number is going to be. Um, so what, what my end uh what my what I want the answer to be. That's what I'm looking for. That's what I want to say. What I'm looking for. All right. Step number two, students like to skip this step all the time. Not sure why, but they do. Um, and I think it's maybe one of the most important steps. You need to define the variable. What does that mean? That means I'm going to choose my variable and I'm going to write down in words what it represents in this problem. So how do I know what that is? It's what your end goal is. So find the number of fruit baskets. So I'm going to choose the letter F, and that's going to represent not just fruit baskets. It's the number of fruit baskets. So number, by the way, that's number, not hashtag in this problem, number of fruit baskets. All right. So that's the second thing we do. The third thing we're going to do is we're going to set up the equation. All right, so when we set up the equation, an equation means equal sign with something on the left and something that's the same on the right. So when I say set it up, I'm going to kind of write it out in words, symbols, words, um, but not with the numbers and um, the math stuff in it yet. So um, Here's how I'm going to set this up. I know what equals what. Well, she paid her annual, she paid her annual membership and several bought several fruit baskets. So I know that she paid for the money for her membership plus the money for the, I'm just going to write FB for fruit baskets. I know she, she paid for those all together and the total is what it's going to equal was $105. So that's going to equal the total amount she paid. And from here, I can put in the numbers. So according to this, the annual membership is $30 plus $15 for every basket. So that's 15 times however many baskets she bought, which we don't know. That was F. That's going to equal the total was $105. So now I have an equation. Now I'm going to solve it. So four is we're going to solve it. All right, I'm going to go through this fairly quickly. All right, 
going to uh, minus 30 from, oops, that's not right, minus 30 from both sides. Then I have 15F equals uh, 105 minus 30 is 75. Then I'm going to divide by 15 and F equals 5. Okay, we're not quite done yet. I mean, we're done solving stuff, but we still have to write the answer out, write the solution out. So what does 5 mean? 5 is more than just a number now. It represents something in the whole problem. That's why we go back to this first or this second part, defining the variable. F is the number of fruit baskets. So I would write down for my final answer, Mrs. Williams purchased five fruit baskets. And that would be the answer to this problem. All right. So here are our steps. Read and annotate. I would always highlight or make something bigger what your end goal is. What are we trying to find? Define your variable. Set up the equation using symbols and words. Then plug in the numbers from the problem. Solve it. And then write out your solution. All right. Let's try this next problem. So it says, let's read and annotate. The red bus company charges $150 plus $72 per hour to rent. So red, let me pick red. Red charges $150 plus $72 an hour okay, to rent a bus. Then it says that the blue bus company charges $240 plus $54 an hour. So blue charges $240 plus $54 per hour for, oh, what number of hours? There we go, there's our end goal. What number of hours would the company charge? Oh, the same, same is always a good number to look for. Companies charge, oh, let's change that color. Let's change it to, let's go yellow. Charge the same, yellow's kind of hard to see, but there we go, that's what we're looking for. So we've annotated, we're gonna define our variable And in this case, we're going to what number of hours? So I'm going to say H is going to be number of hours. And now we're going to set up the equation. Um, I'm going to come back here. When they charge the same, the companies charge the same. So if I put my equal sign in here, they want to know what the red money charges, right? The money that red charges. They want it to be the same as the money that the blue charges. Okay, that's what we that's gonna be our equation. All right, let's put in the numbers. So red, I'm gonna do in red. Oops. Red is 150 plus 72 an hour. So $150 plus $72 for every hour. So I'm gonna multiply by H. Okay, and then blue charges. $240 plus $54 every hour. And now I'm going to solve this equation. All right, I'm going to go through this pretty quickly. Um, it does have variables on both sides, so smaller to bigger means negative 54H on both sides. All right, I get 150 plus uh, 72H minus 54H is 18H is equal to 240. All right, I'm gonna minus 150 from both sides. Oops. I get 18H equals 240 minus 70, uh, 150 is 90. I'm going to divide by 18 on both sides, and H equals 18 does go into 90. It goes into 95 times. So we've solved the equation. Now we just need to write down our answer, and it says, what number of hours would the companies charge the same? So we would say red and blue 
charge the same. for five hours. And that would be our final answer. All right, so just to recap, read and annotate, highlight what your end goal is, define your variable, which is based on your end goal, okay? Set up the equations using words and symbols, plug in the numbers in the variable, Solve your equation, and whatever you get for your answer, write it up as part of your solution. All right? Okay, so I will talk to you guys another day. Have a good one.